okay the different types of led displays here it's going to be a seven segment display in the seven segment display it's consisting of seven leds seven leds a b c d up to f g okay the, like uh, seven leds are going to be connected in the form of what it is shown in the figure and it shows the inertia figure the seven leds are arranged in a rectangular fashion and are labeled from a to g each led we call as a segment because it forms a digital uh, being that uh, character is going to be displaying based on that and additional led is there that is indicating a decimal point if you want to display 8.1 or 8.0 values then you can uh, by using of your dp it's uh, taken as a decimal point representation one more led is going to be used then by using of our leds i can display any uh, numbers or else i can display of any characters so if here uh, by using of our leds here we displayed from 0 to this is a 0 0 to 9 we displayed okay here if i want to display my zero value which are all the leds should be glow a b c d e f if I want 1 to be displayed, BC should be glow. Like this, from 0 to 9, I can display my characters. When I go for the uh, you know, alphanumeric values, uh, means alphabets, like A, B, C, D, E, F, I can display of that. How A, a is going to be displaying, which all LEDs are, should be glowing off for A. If I want to display my A means, f e f a b c and that of g if it is glowing the leds then i can able to display my a like this i can display my uh, numeric values and also my alphabetic values that's what the things here it is given in the theory part then when i go for a seven segment display can also display capital letters a c e f but small letters b d but it is just possible to display all the characters just think over this okay like a small letters b and a b and d also it is possible to display here we are going to be using of microprocessor kit often used to uh, such seven segment display microprocessor or controllers you can use it's not that you have to use only processors but processor is having the faster response compared to your controllers for that uh, for that reason we will be shifting for the processor but for the electrical people we will be going to for the only of the microcontroller is enough so that whatever the information i can display by using of leds that will be enough for you when you are going for a data should be displayed when you want a, some a long uh, message should be displayed we will be preferring for the microprocessor rather than the controller that's what the uh, here it is going to be explaining us then about if you go for the what are the types of a seven segment display the first one is going to be a common anode type and common cathode type what is the first one is of common anode type in this case all the anodes in this case all the anodes of leds are connected and common point is connected to the plus vcc uh, observe this uh, diagram all the anodes are connected and given for the VCC. For that reason, it's given the name as common anode. Then, which is a positive supply voltage, okay, a current limiting resistance, that is R here for all the diodes. This is the symbol of your LED segment, one diode with a light emitting, that is about your LED. For each of the LEDs, a resistors are connected. Those are called as a current limiting resistors in between of a LED and to the ground. This is a ground connection. Okay. The connection is shown in the figure. Then about the common cathode type. In this type, all the cathodes observed here. Here anodes are connected. Here a cathodes are connected to the ground. And each of the LED and with the uh, current limiting resistors are connected to the 
positive supply that is plus vcc for each of the element rlc or segment that's what the difference between common anode and also of the both a common cathode type all cathodes of leds are connected together and common point is connected to the ground here a ground connection is there a current limiting resistor is connected between each led and the plus vcc the anodes of the respective segments are to be connected to the plus vcc that's what what i, what I explained okay this is about your common cathode type how a led driving driver circuit is going to be actually how it is going to distress circuit is there here led is there plus vc uh, if i give a plus a positive supply then our light will not glow you know, output is going to be grounded when it is going to be uh, led will be on plus vc here the driver circuit is here gives the information about at what uh, value the supply what you are going to provide for the led whether it should be a positive value or it should be a negative value it depends on which type we are going to be fixing here if i want uh, my common anode if i used it should be in a forward bias then your uh, led will glow it should be in a reverse bias for common cathode type like that uh, what type you we are going to give that driver circuit is going to be depending that's what the information about this this will not ask in the exam just for your reference i take on this pick again one more time okay this is how the internal structure of your bcd27 a decoder driver circuit is going to be connected four line bcd input like your 000 and in terms of uh, i hope you will be knowing 0 0 means it will be 0 0 0 1 means it will be 1 9 1 One zero means two, like this. One one means three. Like it's going on, right? Based on input, what you are going to give, that value is going to be displaying at the output. That is nothing but in terms of your LEDs. That's what a small example of typical seven segment LCD with its driver circuit. That's what. Next, if I go in with the displaying of alpha numeric means both. alphabets and also about the numeric values here observe here if you do closely observe means instead of going for only of a to g here we are going to be taken a1 a2 again b c d1 d2 e f g1 g2 i here capital i j m h different instead of going for limited leds now what we take on here some extra leds we are going to be using so that i can display the information in a accurate manner that's what the difference between what the lg la seven segment display to the alpha numeric display in the seven segment display is that possible to display all the small letters of your alphabets a b c d i can display of this if i want z means this z is same if i want to display like this z or your small z is it possible with your leds it's not possible where is the difference you are going to show in this case for that reasons we are going to shift towards our alpha numeric display where we can display any character in any of the way i can go for that's what the different uh, applications where i can use of this If you want a normal display, you can go with the L7 segment display. If you want a accurate result should be displayed, then you are going to be alpha numeric display. Just we go through of this the displays which are used to display alphabets as well as numeric characters in response to the electrical inputs are called as alpha numeric display. The LEDs are arranged in various ways. What it is shown in the figure. one such alpha numeric display uses the 18 leds that's what a different for that and for here and it is called 18 segment display seven segment means seven leds here 18 segments means 18 segment display they are given the name due to the diagonal arrangement 
like this diagonal arrangement leds such as small j h m k characters like y k m etc can be displayed by using of this alpha numeric is in uh, when you go for seven segment display it is not give that much accurate value it will be displaying but not clear the differentiation will not be there displays with the like this a separate leds are used for decimal point yeah, again other than 18 uh, one more time we are going to be one two more we are going to be using and colon cooperator co that is going to be used then the various alphanumeric characters are displayed by lighting up the LEDs located in the specific position. What's the position they are going to give? In some types, array of LEDs, not only like this. If I take this as a in one box, this is if, if I take one uh, 18 LEDs, uh, 18 segment LED display, if I'm going to use the same thing is going to be taken like this arrays. It may be in terms of your matrix format. Each of the element, what I'm going to be, it is of 18 segment display. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Means 8, 18 segment display we are going to use to display my information. Like that. Uh, we can go with any of the rows and any of the columns so that I can display how much the information you are going to fix for your displaying operation. Based on that, we have to fix that. Based on the design, based on the processor, what you are going to be used are the controllers you are going to be using. Based on that, you have to take the select the uh, how many LEDs and what how much the uh, input uh, in terms of your voltage. 5 volts for the driver circuit, I told for the 7 segment. If is that possible to drive for the 18 segment display? No, I, I may go for 5 or else I may go for the 10. It depends. What is the panel? In terms of panel, if I tell how much the panel you are going to be using, it may take appropriately 10 volts or 20 volts. How much the information you are going to be displaying? Based on that, you have to take that. Here, one such example it's given that is like five columns and seven rows. It's taken as seven cross five dot matrix display. Here is a Q diagram where it is of five cross seven dot matrix LED. This is the internal structure how it is going on. R not to R seven, R not to R six actually uh, registers. Here in terms of rows, sorry. Here columns, C0 to C4. Here it is taken as 5 cross that the matrix circuit connection. How a character is going to be displaying based on which LED is we going. Observe here, just compare here this diagram with the circuit diagram. Where is our M is going to be displaying? The whole row should be glow. And again, diagonal term, again coming here. And these all LED should glow in the circuit. Means from where it starts glowing, these all LEDs will be glowing. Again coming here. And again coming. These all LEDs where I'm marking, all the LEDs are going to be glowing when i am going to display my m character observe here means all the leds are going to be glowing in the same way for the m character in the same way i can display my y character any of the information i can display to improve the brightness of the display a dynamic display system is going to be using the brightness uh, where i can get the accurate result in this LEDs are not lit means glowing continuously but sequentially lit by scanning the vertical stroke or else the horizontal means it will check which LED should be glowing C4 and R6 should glow for the this LED should glow means we will be supplying the supply RS plus VCC for the C4 and also for the we have to think in that way C4 should be given as a positive, means plus VCC, 
acid should be ground because it should be powered by us then our LED will glow the same way all the operations are going to be scanning where the character is there and which LED should glow it will check in the horizontal fashion RL in terms of your vertical fashion that's what horizontal stroke RL's vertical stroke in this uh, this is similar uh, to the running lights used in the modern advertisements it means one of the other uh, leds will be glowing like that it's going to be. in the vertical stroke a single row single row it's going to be selected at a time the appropriate led is energized at that row then a signal is applied to the next row and then in the same way it's going to be in the horizontal way this column is going to be selected at a time where it will check in which led should glow the information will be this whole uh, circuit is connected with a processor here one processor will be there which pro it, uh, here you will be telling you should display a the commander which information should display a means this information is going to the L7 uh, this uh, segment display then that a is going to be displaying okay direct if you have to give the input based on that input it's giving the processing in the segment display then it, it, it will be glowing that's what the output will be getting off signal is applied to the next stroke in the same way for the horizontal stroke then alpha numeric display using leds employ a number of square oblong with the emitting areas arranged either in a dot matrix or else segment bar grab matrix in a dot matrix fashion or else a segmented bar matrix it's going to be displaying then alphanumeric leds are normally laid out on a single slice of semiconductor material all the chips belong to enclosed it in, in terms of package what i explained it's all in terms of your small ic and similar to an ic except that packing compound is transparent and not a opaque then how a dot matrix display is going to be done In this dot matrix display again the first toy uh, which is very important is of gas discharge plasma display that is nothing but our nixia tubes okay the operation of this uh, display is based on the principle that under breakdown condition under breakdown condition Under breakdown condition, a gas near cold cathode, near the cold cathode, gas is filled in the tube that emits the light. That filled tube emits the light. The cold cathode indicators are called as your Nixie tubes. Okay, these are based on the principle of glow discharge. In a cold cathode gas filled tubes, the construction of Nixie tubes is shown in the figure. This is how a construction of Nixie tubes are going to be. Here, anode connection is there. Here is of your cathodes. In this, observe here, this is it's a glass structure, outer layer. Here, the connection, front view. Here, alphanumeric. I just observe here the line what showing this eight character from this we can display of the any of the numbers okay gas filled envelopes this is the side view this is the front view connection it consists of a 10 cathodes and one anode observe here 10 cathodes and one anode all are um, made of thin wires, very thin wires are going to be 
but only difference is anode is in the form of a thin frame anode is in terms of your thin very thin frame then when a gas near cathode breaks down here the whole gas will be filled within the glass tube when a gas is near to the cathode near to the cathode it's going to break down then the glow what's after breaking down means the number of electrons will be hitting that and it will be spreading out the energy what's going to be displaying discharging its uh, energy right it's uh, discharging its electron in that way positive energy is going to be uh, discharged in that in a basic way if you are going to be you can learn uh, you can think of on that way also discharge is produced the gauze the gauze electrodes with the positive supply voltage work as an anode in the general way this voltage is taken as greater than than the worst case breakdown voltage of the gas within the tube you should not it in the tube it is gas again the what the supply you are going to give it should be very in a consistent manner you have to provide because if you go high voltage your gas uh, your tube will be burst out when a cathode is connected to the ground potential the gas which is close to the cathode it will be glowing in this case neon glass is used to fill the the preferring is of neon gas in the gas tube the neon gas gives the orange red glow the color what is going to be displaying it is of if i fill the tube with the neon gas for others colors if you want different gases i can use sometimes dot cathodes are going to be used to serve as a decimal point in the character for the important characters are uh, for the next tubes are going to be the numerical are large numerals are large it may be of 15 to 30 mm high the next tubes are single digit device with or uh, without a decimal point third one is of they are available in two types side weaving and top weaving the dc supply requirement for the next tubes minimum is of 150 to 200 volts observe the range how much it is required to display a character by using of your next tubes while well, the current requirement for for this is very low that is of 1 to 5 milliamps that will be enough and can be used in the multiplexed displays and the last one is of nixer tubes are also used to display alphanumeric symbols just uh, if i give show the what is uh, nixer tubes this is one example how any say tubes are going to be used here observe here internal connection in terms of wires able to see those this is one what it, it is displayed here 1 3 2 9 four it is like uh, five i think it is five that's what the difference of any say tubes are than rather than your leds like this a nixer tubes is going to be working ah uh, one more thing this is very important this will be asking the exam for 5 marks or else 4 marks or sometimes asked for 6 marks draw the diagram tell about the nixer tube then about what are all the important characters of the nixer tubes okay next topic is of liquid vapor display that is lvt this is the construction uh, these are economically 
economical displays based on the principle of pressure depends on the ambient light based on the pressure a light is going to be emitting that's what the basic principle the construction of LED it is shown in figure where it is consisting of your from this we have this side we have to see means view in direction a glass is connected in this glass there are a different type here it's going to be rough end surface here it is a thin transparent electrodes are connected for this a battery is connected then a this is full of a liquid and here is a glass and the other side is of a black background it is here it is consisting of two glass plates here one and here one two glass plates with a transparent volatile liquid enclosed in it this is a liquid where it is enclosed the background of the rear gas is totally black that uh, this is of a black background while the front surface is roughened here it is of roughened so that the liquid can wet it means liquid is going to be wetting the glass surface a voltage drive is used to heat the transparent electrodes a voltage is given to heat the transparent electrodes under off condition of the display under the off condition of the display only the black background can be used when it is in a off position based on the switch position means when it is switch is off means only the black background will be able to see for us when it is of on when switch is connected to the on position then the a voltage is applied to the electrodes means when electrodes are liquid starts heating up right generating heat in the electrodes this evaporates the liquid means a small bubbles will come across like you are heating the water by using of your heater right after initially it will be uh, you will not get any bubbles after heating up you will be getting a bubbles in your water right then the same way here also it is working this erupts the liquid in the con contact with it thus around the rough end around the rough end surface as to uh, vapor films and vapor bubbles are going to be formed with this formation there is a discontinuity between the glass plate and the liquid inter interface discontinuity between these two then due to which light scattering takes place light is going to be scattering in all the direction <coughs> while selecting the organic liquids which liquid you have to go liquids precautions must be taken such that refractive index of the liquid should be close to the glass I hope you will know in physics you learned what is the refraction index of water, glass and all. Here what the, uh, when you are choosing any of the organic liquids, the liquids refractive index should be closely uh, close to the glass of glass refractive index. Such liquids you have to choose. Less requirement of energy vaporizing the liquid. The drop what is the disadvantage of by using of this is means the speed of the operation is very low means it has to heat up then it's going to give the emitting the light for that reason we are not going to preferring this LVD display in uh, olden days they will be using of some uh, applications they will be using of but in nowadays they are not going to preferring of this uh, display device